In today's video, I'm going to be taking you to some of the best restaurants in Playa del Carmen, where I recently spent 32 wonderful nights. I'll be showing you my favorites for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and drinks. So let's cue up that intro and get busy. If you follow my channel, you know I've been posting videos about my recent trip to this area. And the question I've been asked frequently is what are the best restaurants in Playa del Carmen? Well, let me just say that there are no shortages of restaurants and places to eat in this city, especially on the famous Fifth Avenue. Just be prepared to spend major bucks for food and drinks. While two of my favorites were on 5th, the majority of the restaurants were off 5th because in my opinion, you get better food, prices, and service away from this busy tourist hub. So let's start with the two on 5th because let's face it, everyone ends up here at one time or another while vacationing in Playa. First stop, Patio 8. Located right on the corner of 5th Avenue and Calle 8, we were drawn to this bar slash restaurant by the atmosphere and music. It's a great place with good vibes and crafty drinks. Staff were super friendly and attentive. The food was amazing and the portions were really big. We dropped about 220 US dollars for three of us, which included appetizers, main course, two rounds of drinks, and dessert. This is a great spot for both day and night, and we found ourselves coming back here on quite a few more occasions. So if you're looking for good food, music, drinks, and one of the best views for people watching on 5th Avenue, definitely put Patio 8 on your list. Next up is Karen's, located on 5th Avenue between Calle 2 and 4th on the north side of the avenue. This restaurant is very close to Fundadores Park. Here you're going to find good food, drinks at reasonable prices with super friendly and attentive staff. The extra bonus was the live music of three house bands who did not disappoint. So if you're looking for a place to chill, after a long day of walking Fifth Avenue, then head over to Karen's for some fantastic nightlife. If you've never eaten dinner in a cave before, here's your chance. Welcome to Elush, located on Avenida Benito Juarez in Playa del Carmen. This is by far the coolest restaurant in Playa. Okay, so we have arrived at Elush, and this is the restaurant that's in like a man-made cenote or a cave and we're super excited we have 7 p.m reservations and as you can see the party is about to start as soon as you start going down the stairs it's a unique experience for the eyes i have to warn you about two things one you need a reservation to eat at a louche and two they're a bit on the pricey side so you're going to have to splurge if you want to dine here but truth be told, not too many restaurants will match this kind of atmosphere and the expense was well worth it. At least I thought so. The food, drinks and service were all five stars. This place is great for celebrating any occasion with family and friends. And for you romantic dinner types, bring your significant other here if you want to impress the heck out of them. Trust and believe you won't be disappointed. Next up is El Fogón, located on Avenida Constituyentes and 30 Avenida Norte. They have a few locations around Playa, but this one was our favorite. This restaurant is very popular with the locals, especially on the weekends. Make sure that you come really hungry because the portions are big and so are the drinks. Everything we tried was delicious and the prices were very reasonable. We came back over and over again for some of the best tacos al pastol I've ever eaten. So put El Fogón on your list. When you're in the mood for Italian in Playa, check out Don Mario, located on Avenida 10 y Calle 8. The restaurant is really cute. It reminds me of one of those old-fashioned New York bistros, you know, the pizza shop. But yeah, they got it going on. 
The food here is excellent with homemade pastas, fresh salads, delicious desserts, and fantastic pizza. They also have an excellent wine list. The staff was super friendly and attentive. So if you're in the mood for some Italian cuisine, Don Mario is the place to be. For breakfast, I highly recommend Mr. Waffle, located on the corner of Avenida 15th y Calle 8. This by far was my favorite place for breakfast and only a four-minute walk from my Airbnb. They have a great variety of waffles and egg dishes on their menu, and their coffee and fresh squeezed juices were spot on. The service is great, and so are the prices. And in my opinion, they have the best chilequiles in Playa, located right here, baby. So hightail it over to Mr. Waffle. You won't be disappointed. Okay, guys. So we took a took a deep on the took a plunge to the deep end, and we decided to walk from where we're staying on Calle Six, and we walked a couple of blocks over to the Super Chidawi, which is their version of the Walmart Super Walmart, because we have the Super Walmart by where we're at, but we've been slightly disappointed. It's okay. We want to see things, so we decided to walk, and we stopped here at La Cocina. Uh, right across from the Super Chidrawi and uh, it's a really nice authentic Mexican food where you can eat for five bucks everything including unlimited refill coffee they gave us some nice so show them your freshly squeezed orange juice that's what it looks like up there it's called La Cocina very nice La cocina. La cocina. Gracias. The kitchen. The kitchen. And for those of you who's not in the know, la cocina is the kitchen. And it's very cool in here, guys, because it was quite a walk to here. But this is like a pit stop before we go into the supermarket because you know we're having it back. Um, but yeah, it's very nice. Lots of fans. Very cool. So when the food gets here, I'll show you. Coffee's pretty good. Good. Okay, so here's our food. We ordered the chilequiles with the egg. We get the beans. And this has been our favorite dish since we've been here, as far as breakfast goes. They're delicious. Last but not least is Cafe Andre, right on the corner of Avenida 20 y Calle 8. This place is great for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The food is fantastic, and so were the prices. Check out their daily specials for 90 pesos. You get a ton of food. The service was fast and friendly. Try their coffee and fresh squeeze juices, a must have. The extra bonus is the outdoor seating, which is directly across the street from the City Hall and Municipal Square, where you can catch daily performances and festivals with lots of things to do, eat, and buy. Well, that's it for now, guys. There are so many good places to eat in Playa and too many to name in this video. But trust me, you're not going to run out of options. My recommendation is to stay off Fifth Avenue for more authentic food and better prices. But let me know in the comments section where you like to eat and what your favorite restaurants are. I truly love to know. As always, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel down below. And visit my website, daisydustplaya.com, for more videos, 
pictures and reviews. Thanks for watching. Ciao.